everybody. Just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to change the oil. So it should be kind of entertaining. And we're just going to do a really short tutorial. I just want to make sure that everyone's comfortable with the understanding that if you don't know how to do this, please seek the professionals who will absolutely get this taken care of. And all vehicle manufacturers recommend a particular oil. In this case, it's SAE. 5W30 and we'll also show you another area where you should be able to find this information in case you have a question about that. Okay, now we're in the driver's side front door area and right here there'll be a great deal of vehicle information that will be helpful. So these are the tools that we're going to need in order to change the oil. We're going to need in this case five quarts of oil. We'll need a wrench with the right socket. Remember don't over tighten anything because if you over tighten it, it could strip it and then you could have a big problem. You need something to catch or drain the oil into. And then if you want to verify this information, just double okay, check. Here's where you check the oil. We want to make sure that we check the oil and why are we going to change the oil? Because it protects our investment or protects our engine. And you can see between these two dots is where you want to have the oil. You can see that the oil's getting a little bit dark. It's time to change the oil. So let's get that done. Okay, now we're underneath the car and we're going to drain the oil. So it's, remember, get lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we're gonna loosen this and let it drain into the container that we have. There we go. Okay, that looks really dirty. That's why you always wanna have a rag under here as well. Okay, now it's almost done draining. Also, what we can do is we can take this oil and recycle it. Walmart is one place that you can take it to. And so always remember, never dump your, your expired oil or any hazardous fluids into any waterway, in, into any drain or anything of that nature, because all, all drains lead to waterways and eventually pollute our systems and we definitely don't need to do that. So. Drain plug back in is important to be able to do so. So you just want to put it back in and you want to start it hand tight and you just screw it in hand tight as far as you can and then you will snug it up with the wrench so you want to make sure you've got it righty tighty so then you put this back on and again you don't want to over tighten because that will cause an issue. Now it's time for the main event. So now we get to put the oil in the vehicle, and this is where, in this particular vehicle, that you open this, and this is where we'll put the oil. We're gonna make a funnel out of an empty water bottle in order to fill up the oil and make it simple. It's it's uh, daddy daughter having fun doing DIY together. Daddy handy knife. We're gonna cut this the end part open. So we're gonna leave this as much of this water bottle as we can. We'll take the lid off. We'll bring the funnel and our oil over. Make sure you've got a kind of a towel or rag handy. So if there's gonna be a little overflow or spill that you're ready to go. Take your daddy daughter DIY funnel and then you just start filling this up. So we're trying to do this without making a mess if we can. And then while you're changing your oil, one thing you wanna do is check your dipstick and make sure you aren't overfilling. So we're gonna pull the dipstick and we're gonna wipe excess oil off. We're going to slide that dipstick back in and we're going to pull that back out and we should be between the two dots. So we're really close. See how close that is? And look at how much cleaner that oil is now that we've changed. Okay, and here's the drain plug right here. I'm just kind of pointing at this. As you're filling it, it's always a good idea to kind of jump under here and take a quick peek and make sure that nothing's leaking out of that. Okay, make sure you put the cap back on. We're all done. We're very close. Now we get to recycle the oil back at Walmart. Oh, so yeah. We get to make a trip to Walmart. Yay! After this is all settled, right? After this is all done, we'll double check everything, make sure we're snug and tight. Thanks for joining us in our daddy daughter DIY oil change. Peace. Peace out. <laughs>